Hi, uh, welcome to uh, another screencast um, for Unit 5. I'm going to be setting up um, margins and uh, grid lines um, at the start of my publication before I've actually made anything. I've gone straight into Publisher as Publisher on the screen at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do, insert a blank page. My magazine, I know, is going to be eight pages long. So I've got f f add another five. I think that makes eight. Eight pages. If you have a look down there, it's five, six, seven, eight. There it is. So I'm set to go. That's eight blank pages before I start. Now, if I go to view, and I'm going to look at a two-page spread. So my magazine actually looks like this. I can see. The inside page is two pages opposite each other. You can see those there. Now, you'll notice these sort of faint blue lines at the edges of each page. These are the margins. Anything outside of the margins will not be printed. And you can adjust those margins to, to the size you want. Now, you do that in page design margins right there. You can set them wide, moderate narrow, none, or you can custom them. So I'm going to go into custom margins. Here we are. And I'm going to click this tick box here that gives me a two page master for adjusting my margins. Okay. What I'm going to do here, the middle part of my publication down here is what's known as the gutter. Any magazine down the middle is called the gutter. And um, that's where the magazine is actually bound. And I'm going to make these uh, inner margins slightly wider because otherwise I don't want the text to go too far towards the middle of the gutter. Otherwise you can't actually read the text inside the gutter. Um, I'm going to try to show you. There. That's what kind of it looks like in a magazine. When the magazine's bound together you've got this middle gutter. Part it says there don't get lost in the gut and you can see you can't see the T there because it is actually lost down in the middle of the magazine okay so that's what a gutter is so let's go back and uh, margins custom margin make sure it's a two page and I can adjust the inside margin the outside the top or the bottom let's just move this slightly out of the way I'm going to make the inside my margins 1.27 centimeters at the moment Let's pop that out just a bit to 1.77, and you'll see when I click OK what I've done. Now, as you're doing this, of course, you're going to need to take uh, evidence of uh, screenshot evidence of what you've done. So, obviously, before and after you change the margin on the inside. Let's watch that gutter widen when I press OK. You can see it widened out there, and that's good enough for me, I think. I've widened the gutter a little uh, to ensure that no text is actually lost. All pictures are lost in that sort of gutter area when the newspaper or the mark, sorry, I should say the magazine is actually bound. So that's enough for adjusting my margins. I've done that, and you can see they'll be the same on each page. Yeah, good. Okay, the other thing I want to do is set some kind of guides. And uh, these are just guidelines, they're not printed, but uh, they're like um, guides so that I can sort of. Uh, make sure that pictures or text boxes are aligned against a certain way in a certain way. I can do it in guides. I think I can also do it in custom margins where I was. You've got grid guides here up the top here. And um, what I'm going to do is I want to have three columns in each page, um, just like a newspaper is in columns. I'm going to have my magazine actually in columns. So I'm going to set these guidelines. Um, as free right there. That's okay. You can see I've got those guidelines on each page of my magazine now. I don't have to follow them, of course. They're just guidelines are there to help me if I want to put a text box in, for example, on page two. If I put a text box, I can make that to show that text box fits along the guideline like so. Yeah, and so I can actually, you can see the text is quite small, 
but you can see it goes straight in that column like so which is quite cool yeah so two things I've done is set up the margins and also set up these guidelines don't need this text box now yeah and you need to show that for io3 um, that you can do that sort of set up the document before you actually go and create it and start creating it using the textiles and any images or whatever you've collected together to put your magazine together okay and that's it for this one thank you